Monte Carlo, home of the rich and the famous. But even here, they know that something has to change to fight the climate crisis. The introduction of uh, ICE engines uh, caused a lot of uh, pollution. Monaco is taking the climate challenge seriously, and even Prince Albert is leading efforts to reduce combustion engine pollution, whether it comes from land vehicles or from the sea. In Monaco, we try as much as possible to help to emerge new solutions which could uh, uh, give us, uh, let's say, uh, no, a less carbonated or even a non-carbonated world. But even in Monaco, there are far fewer boats than cars. So why is it important to reduce marine emissions? The emissions that are generated by an individual boat versus the emissions that are generated by an, in, in, an individual car are substantially higher in a boat. And they are way out of proportion compared to land transport emissions. It's a fact. One small five horsepower four stroke combustion outboard engine produces the same quantity of harmful nitrogen oxides as nearly 40 cars driving at highway speed. Switching to electric vehicles can improve air quality and protect the climate. But some transportation sectors are transitioning faster than others. We see that electric mobility is already catching a substantial market share in, in buses today, a market share in the ballpark of 2% in the automotive sphere. Um, and in boating, the market share of electric solution is somewhere around 1.3%. Many dinghies and sailboats have already given up fossil fuels for electric drives. Ferries and motorboats, especially in cities, are going electric and larger yachts are now being powered by hybrid electric drives. We'll take a peek inside for a closer look at the technology powering this 50-foot luxury catamaran. So here's the core of the system, the propulsion. So here we have a 50 kilowatt shaft drive motor, and this is powered by two batteries from the automotive sector. So now we are inside at the navigation desk. Very important on a boat like this is to understand where the energy is coming from and where the energy goes. So here in the energy flow overview, you see that the solar panels are delivering solar power, store it to the low volt batteries and then uh, the high voltage batteries are charged. And now I show you where we generate the energy here on board. So here we are on the roof of the catamaran, we see a lot of solar panels. This self-sufficient and climate-friendly yacht generates most of its power from the solar panels and wind. It uses a built-in hydro generation system powered by the propellers to keep the batteries charged. This clean, renewable energy is stored in lithium batteries, backed up by a shore power connection and an integrated generator. Integrated energy generation and storage systems power the motors and also supply energy for the conveniences expected in a yacht of this size. Everything from the air conditioning to the navigation runs on clean, quiet, electric power. So to complete the system, we have the steering and the throttle. And when the system now is working and the battery is fully charged, then we can go. Heading out to sea, powered by clean energy from the wind and sun. This is the way forward. Monaco is not alone as it navigates towards a low emission future. We see substantial efforts to reduce emissions uh, 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 from boats. Uh, on the one hand, locally harmful emissions like hydrocarbons, NOx uh, or particulate, but also um, uh, CO2 and, and greenhouse gas emissions. And uh, there are uh, ambitious projects going on here in Monaco, uh, but also in Paris, in Amsterdam, in Hamburg, uh, to, to drive this issue and to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and locally harmful emissions from boats around the world. The clean mobility revolution is already underway. We try to promote as much as possible uh, such a kind of uh, transition. Emission-free mobility on the water is an ambitious goal, but an important one for a brighter and greener future.